I'm finally starting knotted. I love that her name is Connor. I'm getting the feeling this is gonna be a second chance romance and I love second chance romance. This is so cute. Uh, that took a turn. This is dark. Ugh. I'm sad. Wow, that was rough, but I'm told we're, it's gonna get better. Nope, we're not better yet. We're, we're still not better. Nope. What the fuck? The song choices in this book are fucking me up. Her flashbacks break my heart. And we're healing. This is second chance. The tension. <laughs> we are making new memories. My heart. Damn. I'm done. This book had some rough moments, some highs and some lows. But the healing that came from this was beautiful. I'm obsessed. We're gonna start buckled. Peeping Tom. Jarrett is hot. Kinky. We've got hand necklaces. Threw her over his shoulder and spanked her. Jarrett is kinky too. I don't know if this classifies as one horse trope, but I'm classifying this scene as one horse trope. We love a man who's persistent. The patience of this man. You needed my fingers in your cunt, destroying it, owning it, you dirty, filthy girl. <gasps> There's pleasure in pain. A little bit of primal. That plot twist though. What? You're mine and I protect what's mine. We love a jealous, possessive alpha. Oh. Oh my god. And we're done. This one's not as dark as the first one. I obviously didn't cry, so it wasn't as emotional. But this one was spicier. I just loved the push and pull between these two. We're gonna start booted. No, I am not driving. Revenge. Oh, the pain in my heart. One horse trope. He took her shopping. Dimples. He's helping her learn self-defense. Hot and cold and I'm getting whiplash. It's happening. She's eating his ass and fingering it. Damn. Oh, she knew it. Not until you beg. He made her a bracelet. We're getting to the action. I'm nervous. Whoa. I'm not surprised. This is heavy. Fuck. And I'm done. I love that not only did we get our HEA for this couple, but we also got a further HEA for the previous two couples. Um, I loved this series.